Everywhere you look, computers are changing the world. Whether they're on our desktops, in our homes, our pockets, or just about anywhere else. But while most of us use this revolutionary technology daily, we don't often ask, how do computers work? Is it possible to teach a computer a programming language? This is still a work in progress, but there is no clear way to teach a computer a language at the moment. It has been programmed to interpret a language by the computer. The computer does not learn the language, rather, it parses it and performs the actions specified by the lines of code. To break it down even more, the CPU is the computer's brain. It only understands machine code, which is a language made up entirely of ones and zeros. Machine code instructions will be executed directly by the CPU. Op codes, or operation codes, are the binary instructions. Computer scientists have indexed them in libraries that can be consulted. Stack method theory are several methods for computers to understand code, but the stack method is one of the most prevalent. An interpreter is the first step in the stack approach. This sort of intermediary program interprets the source code and converts it to machine language. The interpreter then uses an algorithm to traverse up and down a finite number of memory levels in order to determine where the program should really run. Finally, this system only permits specific commands to pass depending on whether or not they are executable at the present level of memory. Computers, on the other hand, can read code in a variety of ways. The employment of a compiler is another option. Instead of using an interpreter, a compiler produces object code, which is then used to turn the code into an executable file. A compiler reads the program and converts it into other programming languages before it can be utilized, whereas an interpreter reads and translates commands in real time. One level higher will reach the assembly language after moving one level above machine code. Assembly allows you to write instructions in a format that humans can understand. The code is then converted so that it can be understood by the CPU using a compiler, which is a tool built by programmers to translate assembly into machine code. Increased levels you may use the same procedure to convert machine code from higher level programming languages like C, C++, and others. Following assembly language, there are languages that were created to be similar to English. As a result, those languages are easier to learn and maintain, and they can be used for collaboration. These languages have a compiler that is similar to the assembly compiler. This compiler converts higher level languages to assembly code, which is subsequently converted to machine code. Interpreted languages include Python, Perl, and TKL, among others. Instead of being translated by a compiler, these languages are simply read by an interpreter, instruction by instruction. No matter what it is you want to do with a computer, every single action is about inputting information from the physical world, storing and processing that information, and getting some output back into the physical world.